The Ballad of Bud by Weston Gaylord. There's a place up in the mountains where the lakes are full of trout and the freshly fallen powders pristine still, where the elk up on the ridgeline softly send their bugles out, and a man is up there waving from the hill. There the weather seems to love him, all the clouds disperse above him, and it promises to be a bluebird day. So he turns and sets his stride to the rocky mountainside, for he trusts he's done enough to show the way. Now he made his start in Sodus, where they called him Preston Arms. It was said he had the widest grin around. And he came to tend the orchards of the family apple farms, and he grew an honest living from the ground. Soon he raised a proper brace of rowdy children in that place who would follow him through mountains, hikes, and hunts. And they traveled without fuss in a painted school bus, and he never left a child behind but once. Then he came to Salt Lake City, where the snow is pure and dry and the nasty nip of frostbite rarely burns. And the ski bums up at Snowbird often saw him streaking by with his trademark ready basket carving turns. Leaving no slope unsurveyed and no winding track unlaid, he would ski if there was yet a ray of sun. Till at 88 he thought, I'll let the young'uns have their shot and he strapped his boots to take his final run. As a stop-at-nothing sportsman, heaven was a fishing trip in a rowboat with a live one on the reel, or a duck blind in the marshes with a shotgun in his grip, and a loyal lab to fetch the fowl to heel. So a camo-suited cadre and their muskrat-hatted padre every autumn stalked the woods for elk and deer. And however fell the lottery, their joy and their camaraderie would leave him proudly beaming through the year. Yet he was no woodland hermit, fixed to set himself apart and go live like Davy Crockett off the land, but a man for whom good fellowship was foremost in his heart, never hesitant to shake a stranger's hand. He was never more at ease than with grandkids on his knees, giving tips on how to live to ninety-five. Take an apple seed and plant it. Don't you take a day for granted. Watch a sunrise. Ski the powder. Be alive. Now he's farther up the trail, but we'll carry on the tale of the friend and dad and grandpa that we knew. We will pass it on with relish, and each telling will embellish, for a yarn respun can only grow more true. When the great-grandchildren ask it, just how ready was his basket? Was there Adirondack sunshine in his blood? Did he really bar his door with a wagon tongue? And more, you can smile and answer truly. That was Bud. <laughs>